Warriors TV in Denver after game one of this opening NBA playoff series against the Nuggets. And this one comes down to the final seconds with Denver pulling it out 97 to 95 the final. And the game came down to a few key plays with under a minute left. The Warriors down one and Ty Lawson's steal and conversion put the Nuggets up three with 35 seconds left. Then next possession, Stephen Curry ties the game with this three, one of four three-pointers for Steph who finished the game with 19 points and nine assists but with 14 seconds on the clock and the Nuggets with the ball, Andre Miller gets into the lane and helps Denver to game one in this best of seven series. We've got respect for them. They won game one, and I won't look at it like, you know, they stole one or we could have stolen. No, we're two good basketball teams that's uh, in for a heck of a series. You know, hard fought all the way to the end, and, uh, you know, one, one big play by Andre Miller changed the game, so... Uh, we feel good about where we are uh, going into the next uh, game, too. In a simple phrase, we play good enough to lose, so to speak. And, you know, we did some good things. Um, we did some things we need to, uh, you know, get better at. But for the most part, I thought we did, you know, pretty much put our game plan, uh, you know, was successful. And some concerning news that came just after the start of the fourth quarter. Warriors all-star forward David Lee suffers what has been initially diagnosed as a strained right hip flexor. X-rays were negative, and Lee will undergo an MRI on Sunday. We prepared all season long. We believe in our guys top to the bottom. So we feel comfortable and confident in whoever has to step up in his place. And we are and will always be a no-excuse basketball team. Clay Thompson led the Warriors with 22 points on the night, and Andrew Bogut strong on defense while pulling down 14 rebounds and scoring nine points. We fought tonight, and this one stings real bad, but we're not the first team to be down 1-0. So we got to come in here on Tuesday and play with all our heart. Our defense was pretty good. You know, we just had some, um, you know, just little lapses throughout the game that cost us, I think, you know, the, the, the end of the into the first half, momentum play was big. You know, they get a bucket late there and it's a two-point game. Um, and I think we, we didn't execute as well as we could have in the last three or four minutes. Also before the game, we talked with several Warriors fans who made the trip to Denver to be here for game one. Yeah, it's kind of crazy out here. We've been walking downtown, we get all these dirty looks, but we drove all the way here from Vallejo, California to represent the Golden State. Warriors, baby! Let's go, we're ready. The human torch, shake and bake, the bay, we're here, let's go! Top City! Dev City, man. Right now, I mean, we're excited here. We want to show our support for the team. We're here at the Pepsi Center. We just want to show them Warriors ground is here in Denver. That's right. All right, so now the Warriors get two days of practice here in Denver on Sunday and Monday before Game 2 on Tuesday. And then the series returns to Oakland as Oracle Arena will host Games 3 and 4, Friday and Sunday. And we will have much more to come here from Denver on Warriors TV.